In this lecture, we will know about activity usage spreadsheet and resource usage spreadsheet in Primavera P6. In order to see the activity usage spreadsheet, we'll go to the activity usage spreadsheet icon here and click on it. Once we click on it, it opens a spreadsheet in the bottom section of our project, as you can see here. And in this spreadsheet, I can see my actual cost, my budgeted cost, my planned value and various other things in the form of a spreadsheet. If I right click here on the spreadsheet and I select spreadsheet fields, there are different types of spreadsheet fields which I can pull out to see. For example, under costs, I can see my budgeted cost, my ad completion cost, my actual cost of the project and so many other things. This can be seen in terms of time interval as well as cumulative values as well. For example, I can see cumulative actual cost, cumulative estimate to complete, cumulative planned values, so on and so forth. Let's say I select budgeted total cost and actual total cost of my project. So once I pull out these two columns, you can see here now it shows me the budgeted total cost of my project. It shows me the monthly breakdown of budgeted total cost of my project as well as the actual total cost of my project in the form of a spreadsheet. And I can see this budgeted total cost and actual total cost of each activity individually by just selecting the activity of which I want to see the cost. So I will highlight the activity individual activity and it can show me its budgeted monthly cost as well as its actual cost that has been recorded monthly. This spreadsheet can be also exported to Excel by simply selecting the spreadsheet here and pressing the control button and selecting the other one and then using the normal option of control C and control V and you can copy this spreadsheet into Excel. Now let's have a look at the resource usage spreadsheet. The resource usage spreadsheet can be opened from the resource usage spreadsheet icon here. Once I click the icon, it opens me the resource usage spreadsheet in the similar way as it opens activity usage spreadsheet. And I'll click display here and then filter the resources of this project only. Once I filter the resources of this project only, it gives me the list of all the resources that are assigned to this project and I can see their assignments monthly or weekly assignments. So if I select Mary here in the first section, in the second section, it shows me all the activities to which Mary is assigned. So Mary is assigned to all these activities. Then it shows me her assignments per month or per week as per the time scale I have selected here. So it shows me, for example, Mary is assigned to civil drawings preparation and for civil drawings preparation, her budgeted units for May for in this week are 43 hours, then 53 hours, then 32 hours. Similarly, if I select another resource, Steel, it will show me in the second section to which activities this steel is assigned and how many tons of steel are assigned weekly to each activity and it also gives me a total on the top. So these spreadsheets are also useful way of seeing how your activities are spread, how the cost is spread across activities, how the budget is spread across activities and how resources are spread across activities.